Wala mga pointers, wala mga 18. So ngayon, manonood ulit tayo ng updates sa SB19 na sa ating mahal lima. No, syempre, tulad na sinasabi ko palagi, wala tayong ibang papanoorin kundi si Miss O dahil sobrang on point ng mga contents niya, sobrang on point ng mga balita niya regarding sa SB19. No? And pagdating talaga sa SB19 updates, siya talaga yung pinapanood ko. Kaya mag-subscribe na kayo dyan, click yung notification bell. So, ayan na. So, this me. Um, this me too. <laughs> Magpapaalam na ako agad. Yan lang. So, without further ado, let's all watch this. SB19 wowed famous Indian singer, songwriter, and actor Arman Malik. Wow! SB19 is making waves and it has reached the attention of Arman Malik, a famous hmm. singer, songwriter, actor, and producer who has 1.4 million followers on Twitter, 14.2 million on Instagram, and 2.1 million on TikTok. Hmm. He was indeed surprised, especially on how good their live vocals are. He tweeted, just found out about a Filipino boy group called SB19 and they are so damn hmm. good. Even their live voices are so on point. Wow! I would expect nothing less from Filipino voices. O diba, even he noticed how good the live vocals of SB19. Paano na lang kaya kung makita niya ang concert na mga ito na purely live singing while dancing on stage? Siguradong ang nakita ni Mr. Malik ay ang Wish Buzz USA performance ng grupo kung saan makikita talagang they are live monsters indeed. Yeah, so okay. ayun, yung live nila sa Wish Buzz no, yung sa Gento, no, sobrang klaro talaga ng boss nila. Actually, yun nga, um, nanood ako ng Dunkin' concert nila. Sobrang klaro talaga ng boss nila. Sobrang lino. Kung narinig nyo sa recording, sa studio recording version nila, no, sobrang ganun din sa live talaga. As in, walang halong mabulaklak ng salita. Pero ganun talaga sila as in. And ayun yung sa Gento performance nila sa Wish Bus. Sobrang ano talaga, sobrang raw ng boses nila. No? Yung Wish Bus kasi kailan mo naman yan, hindi yan nag-auto-tune or what. Nag-add ng kung ano man. Pero sadyang sobrang solid lang talaga ng boss ng SB19. No? Kaya ayun, sobrang nakaproud lang syempre na isang famous Indian singer na sa ibang bansa pa um, na-realize na kung gano'n ka or na-realize or na-discover kung gano'n ka solid ng SB19 sa pagkanta. No? Doon pa lang yan. Paano kung isang um, famous Indian dancer nakapansin sa SB19? No? Yung boses and eh, yung sayaw nila as in, yung pagsayaw nila as in. No? Pero syempre hindi lang Indian. Napakaraming choreographers, napakaraming dancers international talaga na na-appreciate or na sobrang nakikita kung gano'n ka lupit ng SB19. Personal, ako, personally, as a dancer, um, Sobrang nabibilib ako sa dancing ability ng SB19 talaga. Napaka top notch talaga. No? So, ayan. Tingin pa tayo ng ibang updates. And sure enough, um, Ken, um, Stel, and Josh were down there working out. So, uh, Canadian fan bumped into Ken, Stel, Josh, and Pablo hmm. in the gym. And sure enough, um, Ken, um, Stel, and Josh were down there working out. So as soon as I got to the handle, like opening the door, I was like, am I as sure that I'm going to do this? Hmm. Like I was so nervous. Like I don't, like I, I listened to this guy, this, this pag tatag album every single day that I work out. Then you know, the people really good. that created this album are here working out. So I braced myself, I opened the door and then I saw them working out. Um, Ken was on the far right, Stel was doing something, I think, in, in the bench, and then Josh is, I think, doing some ab workout on the floor on the mat. Um, and I I remember saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you guys are here. We're seeing you guys tomorrow, so on you know. And Ken, literally, he's like, he's deep voice. That was the first voice in Merenenko. And he's just, whoa, come come work out with that, bro. I, hey. I can't remember what exact words were, but he was encouraging me to work out with him. So I then stepped a couple more times inside the gym, and then I did my usual warm-up, so treadmill. Um, so I ran for about maybe seven, eight minutes. That's what I, the length of a usual warm-up. Mm. And I remember um, running at the treadmill, um, and there was, the treadmill has a TV in front of me, so it's kind of blocking my view of now um, Stel and Josh working out, but I can kind of see their feet. Maybe halfway through my warm-up, I um, and then a, a, a girl. So there's two individuals in the Pumaso. I couldn't see because the TV was blocking my view from seeing mm. the thing. As soon as this guy starts talking, I recognize right away who it was. It was Pablo, 
Oh, uh, pinuno. Hey, kind of parang like kind of like saying hi and amping them up while they work out. Hmm. And then the girl's just standing um, behind him, and he's just kind of like, I don't know. I, I thought he was like kind of punching them or parang sinatap niya si Josh Stell <laughs> uh, as they were working out. But he was very loud. Um, I say loud <laughs> because I had my headphones on. Ako kulit na ito mga tao mo magkulit na niya. Oddly enough, so. I I could hear what he was saying, and then unfortunately, that's when when I was about to get done on the treadmill. That's when Ken started to head out. Um, he may be done working out, or maybe he would, he was there longer than Stell and Josh. So before I even spoke to them, walana si Ken. Um, so I started doing my thing, um, just minding my own workout as they were working out. Um, I, It was just so surreal because I've been listening to these guys for the longest time, and they're right in front of me. Um, and so I was doing my thing, and then I remember the first real interaction I had was with Josh because I had a towel on this specific bench, and he said something like, uh, "Can I use this?" Uh, and I said yes. I- I'm done. You can use it. So I took off my towel from the bench and we started using the bench. Um, and he said that. So parang sabi na again, I can't, I can't quite remember the exact words, but um, he said, uh, so you, so you guys are watching our show tom- uh, tomorrow. And I said yes, yes, we are. So yung sana pag video siya or na pag selfie siya na. You know, my wife and my kids with me and my good friends with. Um, With me um, tomorrow, um, and we're so excited. Uh, and then sabi niya parang where are you from? Um, and I said I'm from Grand Forks, North Dakota, which is like just two an hour or two hours and a half. So Winnipeg. And he's like, oh right, right, right. Parang ganon. So parang he was just kind of like uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because at that point he still doesn't know that I can speak Tagalog. So he kind of we have this little brief conversation in English, and I said like "magtagalog na lang tayo," and then he kind of just like had this big relief and laugh at the same time. <laughs> so he said, "Oh, tatagalog." Ay na po na na. So ayon na may kita mo dito kung gaano ka bait ang mahali matalaga asin na. Napaka humble nila ito the point na siempre may fun or kahit hindi nga fun eh. Di ko alam kung Um, pagkapasok niya sa gym, alam nila na kailan nila sila, sila as SB19. No? And may kita mo din na yung trato nila sa mga yung mga hindi fan ng SB19 is ganun din sa mga fan ng SB19. So, ba, kung baga equal lang. No? Kasi, I'm pretty sure na nung pumasok siya ng gym, hindi nila alam na fan siya or manonood siya. No? And, hindi ko alam kung kailan nila na-realize na fan siya ng SB19. No? Itong si, eto, itong Canadian fan. No? And, eto, dun nga, sobrang natuwa ako kasi alam mo yun, parang moment niya yun eh. Walang makakaagaw ng moment niya na yun with SB19. Kasi, pag nasa concert na yan, bam, wala. Dumug na yan. As in, wala na. Wala, hindi mo na malalapitan. And yun, kung ako yun, kung ako nasa moment na Canadian fan, I think, um, nag-video ko and mag-picture sana ako sa kanila. Although, na alam ko medyo, syempre, ano yan, kasi syempre, privacy nila yun. Privacy nila na. Pero, I think, kung magpa-picture man ako sa kanila or mag-videohan ko sila, I think magpapaalam muna ako. Kailangan mo na may consent nila, no? And kung syempre, kung tatanggihan nila, no problem pa rin. Eh. Pero kung papayag sila, I think napaka-solid nun, no? Pero syempre, ito lang, ito lang masabi ko sa inyo, no? Um, kasi hindi na alam, eh. Minsan may mga artist talaga na kailangan ng privacy, no? Pero itong SB19, napakabait na itong mga tono. Pero kung kunyari ganyan, nag-gym sila or what, or kunyari, um, kumakain sila or what, Um, tanongin mo na sila kasi wag yung pa picture pa picture po kami wag yun kumbaga pag tanong mo na kay like um kunyari um Ken pwede mo pa picture parang ganun ganun or Ken um after ng workout mo pwede magpa picture mo ganun ganun tanongin mo na sila and kung wag de decline sila um space nila yun personal space nila yun no? kasi syempre ano um, kailangan din nila ng privacy na no? kasi hindi ko man pa na man na experience pa yung mga ganung klasing mga pagtrato like yung ganon yung as in kahit sa pumunta kaya lang kaya lakana pero iniisip ko pa lang parang ano na parang nakaka-stress na kasi kahit sa pumunta kaya lakana ng mga tao na no, wala ka ng privacy na no? and, and, and yung ano yung parang disadvantage pag sobrang sikat ka talaga no? pero ayan 
ang SB19 napakabait niyan. I think kung mukha feature si Canadian fan, I think papaunlakan nila no. And knowing SB19 sobrang bait niyan. So ayan, shout out kay Canadian fan, sobrang solid mo po and thank you sa story na ibinigay niyo at binahagi mo. So ayan, ang uh, gumamit ng special ka comment down below or message niyo ako sa akin Facebook page na Point of Pen. So this is Point of Pen signing out. Peace, let's go.